Uranus has a 22-year-long winter. On a planet like that, if it was habitable, everything would be frozen and covered in ice, white and gray desert all around. People would have to stock up on food and supplies, make extra sturdy buildings and homes, and always wear thick, warm clothes. Finally, transportation would be next to impossible. But thanks to the sun, each planet in our solar system has unique weather, climate, and seasons. There are several reasons contributing to that. First of all, it's all about how far a planet is from the sun. If a planet is close, like our neighbor Mercury, it gets a severe sun bath. But if it's far away, like the dwarf planet Pluto, it gets frigid even during summer. Now, think about how fast a planet spins. Planets that take their sweet time to rotate, like Mercury, have super long days and nights. That means one side gets toasty hot when the sun's out and freezing cold when it's dark. Earth is pretty balanced with its moderate spin speed. The atmosphere matters too. A thick atmosphere keeps temperatures from going wild. But if there's almost no atmosphere, things heat up and cool down immensely. The tilt of a planet's axis and the orbit shape are crucial as well. Even on Earth, places near the poles get 6 months of daylight and 6 months of night. And if a planet's path around the sun is like an oval, it heats up and cools down more than it moves. Now, no two planets are unique. While some have these changes, others don't. Let's start with Mars, our favorite little planet and potentially our future home. It's the fourth wheel in our solar system and has a quirky way of doing seasons. Like Earth, it has four of them, although they're roughly twice as long as those on Earth. But this planet has an eccentric egg-shaped orbit. Because of this, its orbital speed varies more. This influences these seasons. Martian winters last about four Earth months. They're also much colder than on Earth. Near the poles in winter, temperatures can get down to minus 190 degrees Fahrenheit. <clears throat> One hemisphere grows an ice cap as winter rolls in, snatching about a quarter of the atmosphere as dry ice. Then, in spring, it gives it back. Mars also doesn't have the luxury of massive oceans like Earth to balance out its extreme temperatures. Scientists believe it might have had some of that in its early days, but now all the water is gone. With no water, Mars can hit very low temperatures in winter and hotter summer days. The grand gas giant Saturn has a slightly more tilted axis than Earth. However, despite its elliptical path and tilt, it stays consistently chilly. That's because it's way out there, far from the sun's warmth. Even though it's summer, Saturn remains distant and doesn't get too cozy. It also has a thick atmosphere. The atmosphere on a planet acts like a temperature regulator. If some part gets too hot or cold, the atmosphere gently distributes this temperature across the planet. So, while one side might catch more sunlight during its equinox, the thick air ensures things stay relatively cool. Up high in Saturn's atmosphere, though, it's a different story. Temperatures can swing from seriously chilly in summer to an almost absurd minus 312 degrees Fahrenheit in winter. Uranus is the next planet, the ice giant. With an elliptical orbit and a serious distance from the sun, it's stuck in a perpetual deep freeze. Its thick atmosphere also keeps temperatures frosty throughout the year. Uranus has a wild tilt, three times bigger than Earth's. It's almost lying on its side, and is probably one of the most intense places in our solar system. During Uranus' summer, one pole gets full sun, while the other end faces the deep chill of darkness. In fact, because of its weird tilt and rotation, Uranus is even colder than its more distant neighbor, Neptune. As we mentioned, each season on Uranus lasts around 22 Earth years. That's as close as we get to George Martin's fantasy books. That's because Uranus takes a leisurely 84 years to complete one path around the Sun. So its journey through the year is very slow. The final planet in our solar system is Neptune. It's the most far away icy giant. It has a tilt almost the same as Earth's and a nearly circular orbit. So it feels like it's supposed to be a bit more balanced. However, this planet maintains a bone-chilling atmosphere with unimaginably low temperatures. That's because Neptune receives only a tiny 0.1% of the sunlight Earth enjoys. On Earth, there's a gradual temperature shift from near to far. On Neptune, because of its circular orbit, 
there's only one atmosphere taking a spotlight. Unlike its neighbor Uranus, Neptune gets a bit of warmth from its core. But this warmth doesn't help much. The cold is pretty consistent, whether it's winter or summer. But some planets don't bother with traditional seasons. They just imitate them by having different temperature cycles throughout the year. These planets include Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. Mercury is very weird, because one full day-night cycle on that planet equals 176 Earth days. After half a year on Earth, it's finally time for Mercury people to go back home from work. That's because it moves in an egg path. This is also the reason why it has some wild temperature changes. Sometimes it's very close to the Sun, sometimes it's not. At the same time, it has no atmosphere and no protection from the Sun. This results in extremely hot days and extremely cold nights. But that means it has plenty of time to go from scorching hot to freezing cold. When it's farthest, that's Mercury's true winter, or at least how we call it. So if it had seasons, there would only be two. The next planet is Venus. It's a planet of relentless heat. Forget about seasons. It's just plain hot there all the time. It's super close to the Sun, and its almost circular orbit and tiny tilt of 3 degrees mean temperatures stay pretty steady throughout the year. Even in the supposed winter or the middle of the night, the temperature doesn't dip below 820 degrees Fahrenheit. It also decided to have a weird spin. Venus spins in the same direction as it moves around the Sun. That means the Sun is always right overhead, pouring its entire fiery love on the planet's surface. Venus doesn't really do the seasons like Earth. The closest they have to seasons is 225 days with at least 4 hours of sunlight. This you could call Venus's version of spring and fall. Jupiter, the big guy in our solar system, doesn't bother with the whole seasons drama. It keeps things simple with a tiny tilt of 3 degrees, almost as laid back as Mercury. Plus, its orbit is a close match to a perfect circle, so it doesn't have much variation in sunlight. Also, with a speedy rotation of less than 10 Earth hours, there's no time for the appearance of seasons from long nights. Winter on Jupiter is basically a repeat of any other time of the year. And finally, Pluto, which is still not a planet, but still worth looking at. Pluto resides on the outskirts of our solar system. This little outcast is the definition of cold. The temperatures are around minus 380 degrees Fahrenheit. It has the weirdest orbit, too. Its orbit is very long, elliptical, and tilted. Pluto travels a huge distance from the Sun. That, together with an almost non-existent atmosphere, keeps Pluto in a perpetual cold state. Winters there can get a bit more extreme than average. However, the biggest shift someone stranded on Pluto would notice isn't the temperature, but the Sun's brightness always thousands of times fainter than our earthly view. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.